Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about a flag for the sudo command. Uh, this one actually came up on a recent stream of mine where I was working with my uh, microcontroller projects. And specifically, I was working on my Nintendo Switch slash also works for the Switch 2 project and running through the flashing instructions. Um, this is my controller. Here's another one of them uh, here. Uh, but one part of flashing this microcontroller is you have to Turn it into programming mode by, well, can't see it there, but double tapping the reset switch or resetting ground to RST here. Reset, obviously. Um, I have a little button for that. You gotta tap that. And then you quickly have to flash it with a command. And I uh, basically have these instructions here. Uh, short quickly and then run this command. Pseudo AVR dude, blah, 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 blah. I gotta type out this long command. I always copy and paste it because uh, doing this <laughs> on the fly is tricky. But the problem with this this uh, command is, is it needs to run as root. And so this uh, shorting and flashing sequence gives you about a second-ish to, uh, to run this command. And if you miss that window, you're you're kind of you're kind of screwed, and unfortunately, sudo is going to ask you for your password. So you not only have to paste this command, press enter, notice that it's prompting you for your password, and type your password. A anyway, I'm almost never going to hit that window. But fortunately, you do not have to do that. There is uh, this thing, which is the title of the video, called sudo dash dash validate. And the cool thing about sudo validate, uh, oh well, I guess I ran it before this video <laughs> because I was making sure I knew I understood how it works. There's also the opposite, which is sudo dash k. Uh, so what was supposed to happen is sudo dash dash validate should have prompted me for my password, uh, but that's all it's going to do. It's going to prompt me for my password. My password is bad password. Oh no, you typed your, you got a keyboard cam. Um, and the, the great thing about this is now that I have run sudo validate, it's cached my credentials. And so for some period of time, I won't need to re-enter them. So, you know, if I sudo echo hi, I don't know why you would ever do that, but now it doesn't ask me for my password. Uh, and then there's sudo dash k, which I don't know what it's short for, uh, but this is forget the cache credentials. So if I were to go and try and sudo echo hi again uh, and type in bad password, uh, now it's going to require my password again. Now, any sudo command, if you've configured the cache credentials thing, that's a, it's a per machine thing. Uh, in theory, technically, any command is going to cache the credentials, um, but sudo validate, you don't have to specify a command. So you could instead do this if you wanted to instead get a little a little greeting message as you type your password, but this is what this was designed for. I guess we could man sudo and see what dash k is short for. Dash k, reset timestamp, cool. With a lot of, a lot of uh, pros, but anyway. Uh, that's sudo validate, quick and short video. Hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Button, why is it not working?